My name is Janet Choa, and we've got the right amount of cooks in the kitchen today. He's working the broiler, and he is on soup duty because he's got some hot stuff coming up today. <laughs> we got Jeff Grubb. Yo, how's it going? Make sure you say yes, Jeff, or yes, chef, when he talks, because he's on expo duty today. We got Jeff Bacalar. Hey, what's up, chef? How are you, chef? <laughs> yes, chef. Jeff, have you gone back now on your stance on chefs? Because you were kind of anti-chef for a while. I knew while. this was coming. I knew you'd fucking line me up. Time to pay the piper, Bacalar. I still think it's bullshit. <laughs> There's something ab about like chefs who go around being like, I've earned the right to be called chef okay. as in the same way, like a doctor goes around saying to be called like, I just don't think we're, I don't think uh, they're equal. I don't I, think I've ever heard a chef claim that they are equivalent to a doctor. No. <laughs> Agreed. No one is that psychotic, but, okay. but I have been in the presence of like, quasi celebrity chef people who are just like they kind of use chef as like the thing they want to be addressed as i just don't think outside of the kitchen That's i need it. to be calling you chef <laughs> like but i also think it's weird even when a doctor does that please call me doctor no i grew up fair. with you, Tim. that's fair but I have a much easier time doing it with doctors. Okay, yes. M medical school is, seems very difficult. It also seems like a cakewalk compared to having to deal with a kitchen staff for like 20 years. If you've dealt with them oh. and come out still to be a chef, you've earned some shit. To you be clear, this yeah. is not me on the offensive and you coming to the defense of all chefs everywhere. <laughs> we, all, we are all in agreement. You yeah. don't fuck with people who touch your food. Okay, you treat them with respect. Yeah. But uh, when we're outside in the real world, <laughs> back to so, our, can we just can we just admit it though? As as two Jeffs here, we just don't like that chef sounds so close to Jeff. That's what we're really concerned about. Some people, the way they say chef, it sounds like Jeff, and I and like you can't not hear that in in your Jeff mind. But again, you know, the chef people really are jealous of Jeffs of the world because they do get to be called that everywhere yes. they go. Hard pivot. Uh, the other day in, the, in our Discord, if you're not a member of our Discord, you should definitely be a member of the Discord. Giant bomb Discord. So I was telling everyone in there about this insane wasp situation, a hornet, hornet situation. Oh, no. A hornet's nest the size of a fucking bowling ball. Yeah. Like oh, this thing is a heavy suck. boy. You see yes. it, Jan? No, I, I'm not seeing it. I'm just imagining it because I've run into hives before. So... This thing is one of those hefty, hefty boys that almost looks like someone else put it there. You're almost just like, how the fuck did bugs do this? It doesn't make any yeah. sense. It's so impressive Where does it in go, so where does many it come ways. From? Like they're, they're like real builders. Like there are these, the architects of the animal world. I'm saying as I destroy the thing, but keep going. And, and everyone's going to come at me and be like, yo, the bald face hornet is a friend to the ecosystem. Fucking just don't and build I it agree. on my goddamn shed. That's all. Yeah. I agree with you and it seems important and I don't want to get rid of it, but like, I also got a family to protect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, You, know? you got you to hold your ground. So my neighbor last night, he texts me, he goes, I'm going out there. I'm going to do it. I'm like, what are you doing? Don't do that. So he sprays it for like 30 seconds. He runs back in the house. I go out this morning. They've rebuilt. Yes. They've just like, they've oh, persevered. No. They're fine. They're like, yep. now we're mad. Now I was like, all you do is make uh, 4,000 hornets upset with yep. the people who live next door. So I don't know what to do. So uh, here's what I did with mine. I discovered them because I was mowing. I come up behind the shed. I'm like looking down. I'm listening to a podcast. I'm in my happy little place. And I look up and the sound of the mower and me coming right at them has made them very upset. Doing What is it called when they like rage again? Like pissed They're off. moshing. Yes, they're, they're moshing, moshing, essentially. They're moshing in the sky, and there was hundreds of them, if not, like, north of a thousand. Like, I'm like, oh, oh my God. So we we back off. I run inside. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. And it took me, like, a couple of days to, like, come up with a plan. I read that they can't see very well at night. Uh, yes. So I was like, okay, I'll go out uh, at dusk, and I'll spray the hell out of them. And the spray didn't do anything. So I waited for it to get pitch black. I took my hatchet. I get in there and I sort of just get the, the hatchet and I come up behind it oh. and I knock it clear off and I can see them all pissed except for one just comes straight at Ooh. the light. It is zooming straight at the light and I reach my hand out to like swat it away. Like fucking Mr. Miyagi, it ends up perfectly between my fingers and I'm like, ah, ah, no I just, way. I, I, yes, 100%. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I just throw it and I just, I sprint inside like the biggest yeah. little baby.